أدمى يا حي يا قيوم ألا لا إله إلا الله يا حي يا قيوم ألا لا إله إلا الله هبتيك بمجي يا حي يا قيوم ألا لا Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another edition of the program Eternal Bliss, proudly sponsored by the National Life Fat Society. Here on this program, like we've been doing since the beginning of the month of Ramadan, we bring to you information that you can use, digest, with the aim of understanding how to have the ultimate goal as Muslims, which is to enter Janet Redaus at the end of our stay in this world. We pray to Allah to make all our efforts in this month of Ramadan to count. I mean, my name is Tawhid Alim. Again, welcome to this program. <laughs> In Islam, education is important and Islam as a religion plays a huge premium on the need for Muslims to seek for knowledge. Nasfat as an organization, part of what we also place premium on is the need for our members or Muslims generally to learn about education. Do you know that Fountain University in Oshobo is one of the ways that Nasfat is using to reach out to people, first Muslims, and by extension, non-Muslim, with the aim of impacting and breeding competent graduates that will, on the long run, contribute to the development of our country, Nigeria. Today on this program, I have with me the Vice Chancellor of Fountain University, Professor Alain Karamata Karim. And in the next few minutes, we will be having a discussion as to what is it she is bringing on board as the fourth substantive Vice Chancellor of this university, and of course, what Fountain University is doing to impact the populace in Nigeria. Welcome, ma'am. Asalaamu Alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I need to say congratulations on your appointment as the first Sultan Vice Chancellor of University. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome, ma'am. Uh, very quickly, because of our audience who are just getting to meet you probably for the first time, we'd like to have a brief rundown about your background. Thank you. I'm uh, Ola Inkaramoto Karim. I'm a professor of food science and technology. I've been in academics for almost uh, 25 years now. I started my academic career from Ola Bissonobanjo University uh, down to University of Ilori, where I was for almost 15 years. Mm. And I served last as the Dean of Faculty of Agriculture before joining County University mm. as the fourth substantive vice chancellor of the <laughs> university. All right. I, I, I want to believe you are just very economical <laughs> in, in your profile <laughs> because for somebody to be a vice chancellor of an institution, mm -hmm. I know it's going to be a, a long run. Word of mind, we, we need to give you that accolade. So uh, moving forward, we I understand that coming to an organization or an institution like Fountain University, there must be things you met on ground which undoubtedly we form part of what you are going to use to form your policy moving forward. So I would like to ask you if, if you are to give an assessment of what you met on ground before joining Fountain University, vis-a-vis -vis your plan for the university, what would you like to say briefly on that, ma'am? Thank you so much. Uh, I joined Fountain University as a VC actually on the 1st of March of this year so it's about uh, two months now no. uh, less than two months what do i have what's the vision and what did i meet on ground no. well uh starting from the academic uh, programs of the university i met about uh, 19 programs and uh, that's what the university is having now mm. for four colleges we have the college of law mm. the natural and applied sciences the basic medical and uh, a basic medical sciences, then we have the management and social sciences. Mm. These are the four colleges that I met on ground, and uh, that's the first colleges. 
the my vision is to increase the number of colleges okay with this increase it's going to also increase the number of programs that mm -hmm. university will be running okay. so the first thing i'm targeting is to have uh, the college of arts mm. to have college of arts college of agriculture and okay. college of education to mm -hmm. the programs uh, to the colleges or uh, the university, university. Mm -hmm. and of course have different programs that can increase the enrollment student enrollment that all, can also increase the academic performance of the university mm -hmm. these are the first time target then the centers the centers that um are uh, on ground currently okay. there are only two centers on ground currently in the university mm -hmm. the first center i created and that was last month just few weeks uh, after my assumption of duty okay. is a center for research innovation and technology okay. this center is to be in charge of the research activities of the university mm. research is, is very critical in a university after teaching the next at uh, the next service that the university is rendering is research mm. And we can enhance this by having a center, a center that is dedicated to coordinate all the research activities mm. in the university, a center that will also motivate our academic staff to go into different researches, and a center that will also the, uh, assist the researchers, the academic uh, staff in the mm. university to win grants. Mm to have collaborations with other institutions, to have collaborations with even industries mm. in conducting research, then these research activities, how are they going to be made used by the community? We don't just want to be conducting research that will only be for academic purpose. We want research that will be beneficial to the to community, the mm. to the humanity that will be used for the development. Mm. So these are the, these are the areas of concern of the center. And that's the first thing I have done. Good. Uh, thank you. It, it comes as a mm -hmm. seed. For, for those of us who might probably be joining us just now, we are speaking with the fourth substantive vice chancellor. And need, we need to say the first female vice chancellor of Fountain University, Professor Olainka Ramatakeri. Ma'am, from what you've just said, you mm -hmm. have, it appears that you have a lot of things in plan uh, as the vice chancellor of Fountain University. Mm -hmm. For somebody who probably have been opportunity to be in any leadership position, one would acknowledge truly. Uh, mm -hmm. it doesn't come easy as yeah. it comes so uh, i would like to ask what are the challenges you envisage that you might encounter being the vice chancellor of the university and what are your plan to mitigate or even curb uh, those challenges thank you <laughs> one should be expecting that there's no way one will not be facing different challenges mm -hmm. but i believe that all the challenges will surely be surmountable by the grace of god inshallah, mm -hmm. inshallah. so the first challenge that any university would be facing, most especially a private uh, or, uh, university, mm. is finance, funding. Exactly. But I believe we should, we will be able to tackle this. Mm. With the plans uh, and the programs that we have set in place, the strategies that I have in place, we should be able to uh, mitigate this. And this is what uh, we are going to do. As I was saying, on programs, by the time we have increased in number of programs that will be running, it's going to bring increase in enrollment of the students. And of course, when we have the increase in number of students on uh, the enrollment, we surely be having more funds coming into the uh, university. The ventures, the university ventures, we also want to enhance this. We want to increase the ventures base of the university. Okay. We want the internally generated uh, funds to be enlarged, to be improved upon. So mm -hmm. this is going to be another source of uh, uh, IGR okay. and funding into the university. Mm -hmm. The endowment, we are surely going to be leveraging on philanthropies, yeah. goodwill of people that have been donating to the university and those that will also go it will be meeting that will be donating to the university. Mm. We believe with this, we should be able to be having good funding for the university. Mm. The physical structures, mm. that is also going to be another challenge, great challenge mm. because uh, when you are increasing number of programs, you are bringing in more students. It means the facilities also must be increasing. increasing. So we are also going to be 
tackling this and i believe we should be able to tackle it and that's why i said at earlier that all challenges that we'll be facing they are they are the they are the expected challenges and all of them are surely surmountable. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I agree with you and um, may, may Allah make it very easy for you to do all of those things you have in mm -hmm. plan. So I very briefly again I, I would like to have a picture of what plans you have for the next four years of, of your tenure or five as the vice chancellor of Fountain University, what are your vision or specifically in key areas like you've mentioned now in the area of the challenges, maybe in the areas of enrollment, in the areas of um, uh, research, in the areas of scholarship, what are your, your vision? Thank you so much. Uh, my vision is to see Fountain University as one of the admirable universities in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Now in Nigeria, we are having over 200 universities running from the federal, the state one, and the private one. Even though private, uh, NAS, uh, Fountain University is a private university, but it is also an uh, university owned by an Islamic society. So I want to see Fountain University among the top universities in Nigeria. Mm. A university that is unique, a university that is known for excellence, a university that is known for scholarship, scholarship from academic performance of the students, from the competency of the students, so scholarship that is also known from the output of our graduates. Mm. Then also from research outputs, breakthrough researches, researches that can really impact on the populace, that impact on the community. Mm. I want Fountain University to be known for that. Mm. And in terms of the ranking ranking of the university among its counterparts in nigeria in the global world i want fountain universities to be known and to be seen as one of the best universities universities we are talking of webometric ranking mm. we are talking of times higher education ranking mm. i'm seeing um, uh, an envisioning university fountain university to be among the first state in nigeria the mm. first 500 in africa Mm. Uh, don't even say the first 100 in Africa and the first 500 in, mm. uh, in the world. Mm. It is achievable. It is. It is achievable. I believe that it is, uh, uh, is achievable. Mm. Then uh, out of the staff, the academic staff, their impacts, their research outputs, their publications, all these are what we are envisaging to be known, to be seen, and to be recognized for Fountain University. Mm. Our graduates, our outputs, we want them to be competitive in the marketplace, mm. to, be, to be excellent, to be seen as an uh, excellent graduate with not just academic performance, but with high morals mm. and well-known uh, Islamic tenets. Mm. These are the unique selling points. Sell, uh, selling point. These are the unique achievements that we want Fountain to impart on our graduates mm. and to be known for. All right. Uh, thank you very much. I, I, I would like to go uh, to members of NASFAT. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, we understand that Fountain University is a baby of NASFAT. So I, I want to know if we have, um, if Fountain University has any special package for NASFAT members in order to encourage them to enroll at Fountain University. Thank you for that uh, question. Surely, NASFAT as a proprietor of Fountain University has good package for the members. Mm. They have good package for the members. Scholarship, different categories of scholarship, mm. ranging from full sponsorship, payment of the full tuition fee, mm. and uh, payment of uh, a certain percentage of the tuition fee for the students okay. and then in terms of admission we have consideration too for NASFAT yeah. members mm. so these are all uh, packages that NASFAT has for uh, its members for them to gain access into Fountain, Fountain University, University. Mm. okay uh, I think thank you for that one so uh, I'd like to quickly move for those who are not uh, NASFAT members we have a lot of universities in Nigeria and yeah. even outside Nigeria and one would be curious to know as to why we should come to Fountain University. So I, I am asking on behalf of those people who might have that same um, thought in their mind, that why should we choose Fountain University 
what are the unique things that we stand to benefit if we come to Fountain University to study? Thank you so much. Uh, as I said, Fountain University is not just a private university mm. in Nigeria. It's a, it's a faith-based university. It is owned by an Islamic uh, faith society, and no. that is Naswat. Mm. So for Muslims that are looking for where their children where their children can be educated, where their children can have the university life. Fountain University is the best mm. in Nigeria. Is the calling point for them. Mm. And it's, as I also said earlier, it is not only academics that we're emphasizing on. Okay. We, are also, we are also making our tentacles to other areas. Mm. The Islamic aspect is there. Mm. Is, is someone coming to NAS, to Fountain University, aside from gaining that academic excellence, your Islamic perspective, your Islamic tenet is also, is also improved okay. upon. Mm. It's also strengthened because we have different programs and opportunities for them to strengthen their Islamic faith. Mm. In terms of entrepreneurship, that can even make them to be competent, that can make them to be can that make them to be uh, job providers no. instead of seeking for job opportunity or is available the opportunity is there mm. at Fountain University so students candidates coming to Fountain University have diverse opportunities mm. to be a uh, uh, to be a a, a, a very uh, let me say, excellent graduates mm. not excellent graduate in terms of the academic certificate but in other areas that can benefit it, benefit them, them in life. All right. I, I would like to start on that, your landing point about student of Fountain University not focusing only on academic performance, but extra thing. A look at your profile, I am aware that you are interested in, in sporting activity. So I, I want to know the provisions Fountain University have in terms of extracurricular activity, most specifically in the sporting arena and how they plan to use that to impact their students such that you cannot only be a mass communication graduate, you can also be a basketball pro. What do you have to say to that, mom? Thank you so much. Uh, for my profile, uh, mm. I had the opportunity of engaging in different uh, sports and games. Uh, I won the first uh, medal for Federal University of Agriculture. Mm. That is in Nuga Games uh, 1991. Bronze medal for in uh, Javelin. Okay. And also represented Ugo State in a national sports festival where we won gold medal in basketball. Interesting. These are what I want our own students to also uh, be like. Mm. That's There's opportunity for you also as you are learning to also engage in different sports. Mm -hmm. uh, the Fountain University has been hosting the NASFAT Youth Games for a while. Mm. And very soon, another edition will be taking place by September precisely. Mm. And our students also have opportunity of participating in these uh, games. Okay. Opportunity is also coming up very soon for the private universities in Nigeria for their games. Mm. We want our students to also participate in this for them to, to show to the world that at Fountain, you are having academic excellence and you are also being excellent in different sporting activities. Mm. And that's why we are strengthening our, all our sporting facilities. Mm. The basketball court, we are going to very soon, we are going to be having a state of heart basketball court in the university mm. and also lawn tennis courts. Mm. Our football uh, pitch, we are strengthening it very soon mm. for us to have a standard pitch that can enhance the sporting activities of these students. Mm. And we are not limiting them to the ball games. Okay. The individual games, like uh, individual games like a javelin, like uh, the uh, short put, mm. and also the indoor games. We are also strengthening all of them. Mm. We are strengthening all of them. We are making our students to be very active. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. I, yeah. I am trying to picture uh, mm -hmm. you on the pitch. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yes. Um, academic excellence, spiritual excellence, sporting Some activity, sense. amongst others. Ma'am, yeah. I, I would like you to say a few words to parents out there, starting from NASFAT members. 
what do you have to say to them as how or why they should take advantage of enrolling at Fountain University? So then, by extension, the student, particularly those who are just about to seek admission for this year. Yeah. Let me say to the world, not only to NASPAC <laughs> members, to the entire world, yeah. Fountain University is a complete university. Mm. A university that has excellent academic environment mm. that can enhance the student uh, performance, that can make them to be competitive and resourceful mm. graduates. My advice to parents is think of NASFAT when you are thinking of university for your daughter or for your son, for your world generally. Mm. NASFAT, uh, Fountain University is a full residential university where the students have all the facilities that, that will make them to be at home and away from home. Mm. And it's also a university that has different learning opportunities. A serene environment that can enhance academic capability, academic performance. Mm. A, a place where we have a state of heart, different state of heart laboratories mm. to support our to support the teaching that will also enhance research activities. A place where the staff, the academic staff and the non-teaching staff are well committed mm. to impart different areas uh, to impart onto the students. Mm. The academic, the spiritual, the sporting, entrepreneurial skills and uh, other in, in other areas mm. that we make them to be excellent and resourceful graduates mm. at the end of the day. Mm. It's a place where we also pay premium on the spirituality of the students. Mm. And that is where we have a very massive mox. Mm. A mox that is very attractive, a mox that is very conducive mm. to enhance the spirituality of the students. Okay. What about our other curriculum activities? We have different opportunities for the students to also engage on that. Mm. We don't believe in total academic without uh, a little form of uh, social activities. Mm. The students also have opportunity for that. Mm. It's a club has just been created in the university that we call beautification and greening of the university. Mm. Students and staffs are members of this club where they have opportunity of contributing to the growth and development of the university and also extend to the community. Mm. We have a community-based scheme that we have just introduced. And these are this is a, a very veritable opportunity for all programs in the university to contribute to the community, mm. not only to the immediate community of the university, but to a larger one. Mm. Mm. These are all opportunities that are available, available in Fountain University. university. And that is where I will advise any parent that is thinking for university for his or her ward to think of Fountain University. It is situated in Oshubu, mm. the capital of uh, Oshun Oshun State. State. Right. Now, uh, our time is fast spent, but if you can answer this in 60 seconds, <laughs> is the school fee not expensive? <laughs> no. no. I will say it is, it is not. It okay. is not expensive. Okay. All right. Thank you. There you have it, our listeners. Uh, we've been talking to the Vice Chancellor of Fountain mm. University, Professor Lain Karamata Kari, and it's been an amazing discussion. For those of you who are thinking of scaling mm. your ambition faster and further, Fountain University is your choice. Many thanks to the producer of this program, led by the head of the Department of Mass Communication, Fountain University, and to our sponsor, the National Life Art Society of Nigeria. Tomorrow is another time for you to catch another episode of this program. Until then, my name is Tawid Alim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.